Hey guys, wasabi. Howdy. Now let's check for flash. Let's go. Uh, I can't see you, nor can you probably see me. But no, most likely. Yeah, you can see me. Okay, we're live. Hey. We're live. Oh, I didn't get the pictures of mom in. Mom is commenting. She said, hey, my handsome hunk of burning love. Hey, my love. Good to know you're watching. All right. See who else is on, Dave. Well, <coughs> Okay, it's Maddie, uh, Maddie Chia, PT Bo, Bumblebee, uh, Michelle, Lori, Julie, um, Nancy, Wonderful Blessed Life, Jamie and Kathy are on so far. Oh, and Tracy. Hey, Jamie, I didn't ignore you. We just were too crazy and carry today. <laughs> um, all right, I'm gonna set this aside for just a second. All right, we're well, glad to see all of you today. Yep, the ladies are gone. I was gonna... Well, mainly the late B. Wonder if there's enough, I wonder if you can drag those pictures into OBS the way they are. I didn't make them, I didn't size them. Oops. No, they'll be super blown up. And turn them no, just try it. Well, um, so I was gonna see if we can show you, actually, I guess we'll need to get going here on the recipe because I forgot it takes a little bit. Maybe we can show, maybe we can do that afterwards. Uh, yeah, but we can do it afterwards. Okay, so let's see who's on, because we're gonna need to probably get moving, because the recipe is gonna take like a long time to bake. Okay. Um, okay. All right, hi everyone. Good to see you. Everyone. <laughs> I look in that apron. Thank you. Hey, Penny. Tara loves it when I'm in this apron. <laughs> She's Penny's liking here. me to be me all the time. Okay, uh, can you uh, switch to Facebook so I can see? Oh, you've got that separately. Okay. Hi everyone! Oh, sorry about the smoke there, Denise. Peggy, I don't know, YouTube looks like it's working for us. So you, uh, of course, it's fine that you're here on Facebook. We try doing YouTube. Let's see what else we got. Any questions before we get started? So I'm gonna make a, I was talking about making a, some kind of a Mexican casserole. And I was trying to figure out the recipe for what I remembered. And thanks, Sunshine, I appreciate that. I like the apron too. Um, so I ended up doing the recipe for that. Why don't you put that on there, Dave? Oh, yeah, you're right. It didn't turn out. Okay, ready? Well, we can tweak it later. Here you go. Uh, yep. So Dave is sharing the recipe for what we're going to make today, and I've already started to pre-brown the ground beef. So it's an enchilada casserole is what it is. I think some people call it, uh, Mexican lasagna, but I found a, some recipes for Mexican lasagna that were pasta and others that were more like what I'm <laughs> making today. So... I called it an enchilada casserole. <laughs> so anyway, so I browned the meat. Um, I browned the meat and we're gonna follow the rest of the stuff here now. I didn't want it to take too long because we actually have to bake it while the show's on. <laughs> so, uh, all right, so Dave, if you could kick me over to the recipe there. All right, so I've already got the meat browned sufficiently. And, uh, okay. So now I'm gonna add the seasonings. And season salt. Yep. So at this point in the recipe, if you're following along, uh, Dave shared it already. You shared it on both, right? Let me turn this down a little bit. At this point in the recipe, uh, I have browned the beef. Show me the recipe again. Well, <laughs> Thanks, Pamela. Um, okay. Oh, I forgot the measuring spoons. So I guess I should have kept all of them over here. Mike's a little disorganized today. Just a little bit. Just a little disorganized. All right. So, uh, can I see the recipe again? Mm. I meant to print the recipe, but our printer's not working. Uh, just making sure I have the right amount. Okay, so it needs a tablespoon of taco seasoning. So I've got this taco seasoning here, and I'm gonna add that. And, because I already have that. And then salt and pepper to taste. The world needs more salt, people. I just have to say that because Tara's not here, and I think she's still watching. So Tara's in Michigan. The world we'll needs more salt. Try people. to see if we can get a couple pictures out on once this is baking. Okay, so what else? And the beans, right? Well, yay. Uh, add taco seasoning, beans, and salt and pepper. Okay, and 
I have the one can of pinto beans, which I've already rinsed and drained. I'm gonna pour that into the ground beef with those seasoning. And I'm gonna stir it all up. Just, just enough to get it mixed, really. What? You're blocking me, Cameron. I mean, yeah. And I drained it earlier. Maybe I shouldn't have, because it's not very wet. Hmm? Oh, you got it. Okay. Yeah. Well, that's just one picture. I need to do the rest. Okay. You do the rest of them. That'll be all. Sorry, I'm not. I can't see the comments right now because I'm trying to get. Okay. So now I've got the seasonings and. Uh, can you see on the camera, Dave? Yeah. I've got the seasonings and the. Uh, ground beef and the beans all mixed together. So now we're going to move on to the next step, which should be the baking pan part. Sorry, Dave, I know we'll need to. So we're trying to do this with one computer today, which is different. Can I see the oh, text oh. document? Just making sure I didn't miss a step. Yeah, okay. guys, please be patient with us. So at this point, um, we, we have to grease the baking dish, so I'm going to put this in. And uh, this is just mainly so that the uh, tortillas and things don't get stuck on it. And I forgot to slice the tortillas. So, Dave, what? can I get a super sharp knife out of here? All right, maybe I'll get a couple of them just in case. Dave, do you want me to hug your mom? <laughs> is that Penny? Well, it said huge, your mom. It's, it's Barb. Oh. Oh, that's mom calling. Go see what she needs. Four. Okay. Let's do an Irish dance. All right, so yeah, that's my my cell phone. All right, so I'm gonna cut these tortillas in half. I didn't do this ahead of time because we were at doctor's offices all day today for BJ. Oh, you know what? I bet you can't see that, can you? Here, let me switch that so you can see better. Um, all right, tilting that down. Oops. Now I know what Tara feels like when she's doing the... There we go, now you can see it. Sadly, you won't see my head. So, I'm gonna cut the tortillas in half. Anything urgent? No. All right. And now, man, we've got all this is visible on here. Okay. Yeah. Hey Dave, can you line up that camera more over on this right here? All right. So we've got that there, yay. Let's see if we move these out of the way so you can see that focus better. This is no super professional TV thing anymore. Yeah, we've got all these wires visible. <laughs> okay, switch me back to the recipe, por favor. <laughs> that was it's not my best accent. two quart baking dish okay. spread one fourth of So now I'm gonna put some of this enchilada sauce. One fourth of it. Uh, well, just one fourth of a oh, cup, of which a isn't cup. very much. But On the bottom, that's, that's probably a little more than a fourth of a cup. And I think the reason this is probably to keep it from sticking. So then we layer some of the tortillas on the sauce. And there we go. And now uh, we will add half of some of this meat mixture. Well, it says half. Let me see that again. That's a lot more than I realized. Goodness. Now the thing about this is it's not, you don't have to be a perfectionist about it. So I actually could do more than, more layers than what it says here. Uh, spread a quarter of the cup, layer one third of the tortillas, add half the meat mixture. Hmm. That seems like an awful lot. So I think what I'm going to do is, I'm going to mix it up a little. All right. Go back to the recipe, please. And then I think... Dad. Just leave the recipe on for the moment, <laughs> then you can look at the other stuff. Okay, so uh, then I'm, we're gonna put some of the cheese. And again, uh, Dave did share the recipe once earlier and I'll have him share it again as soon as I get the feel for how this is supposed to go. So add a three quarters of a cup of cheese and I'm just gonna wing it. That seems like about three quarters of a cup. And then, Dave, can you get me back here for a sec? I think I need to put some sauce on it now. Uh, now, to pour some of the sauce. What was that you said? I'm gonna rage quit. Pushing <laughs> in the link and you're like, no. Well, Dave, sorry, I'm just trying to 
I'll get this together oh, so we can okay. get it. Okay, so that's some of the enchilada sauce. And now I think we're going to uh, repeat the process. So I'm going to put more of the tortillas on. And since we had so much meat, I... Actually, I might put an extra piece of tortilla in there as well. Since we had so much of the meat mixture, I decided to probably make an extra layer. <coughs> so I'll probably have to cut up a few more bits of tortilla. But I think it'll turn out beautifully. And this does, I guess, depend on the size of casserole dish you're using. So, yeah. Now I'll put one more layer on. So adding some more cheese, which again is about three quarters of a cup. And I think, see, Tar says the world needs more salt, people. I'm thinking the world needs more cheese. <laughs> By the way, can so I then make more my... sauce. Hmm? Can I make Dave's world famous? Not, well, it hasn't been published yet, but Dave's um, really good cheesy bread things. Uh, oh, those ones that are like the ones from Toppers? <laughs> oh, sorry. <laughs> Toppings. <laughs> <laughs> Toppings Incorporated. Okay, so I'm just kind of being a little creative here. All right, now I'll add a little bit more. I'll add the rest of the meat. Wow, this is, I under-anticipated the size of the casserole dish, I think, because I'm gonna be right up at the top, but I think that'll be beautiful anyway. All right, oh, so. Dun, dun. Still one small piece. Dun, dun, dun. All right, Dave, you could probably look over there for a minute if you need to, but be prepared to get back here in just a second. Okay, so I'm gonna add some more cheese and a little more sauce. This is actually the first time I've made this recipe, but I've eaten it a lot in the past. It's been quite a few years though. And then I'm gonna put these tortillas on. Dave, I'm gonna need to get back there in just a second, sorry. Hashtag rage quit. <laughs> and we'll be talking to you guys more after we get this in the oven. Um, you need to get it together, Dad. All right, now let's just make sure I'm at the very end here. Pour the remaining sauce over the top, except I have a little more than more sauce than I really want to add. So I'm going to add just what seems right. So I'm going to pour that on. In theory, this is how much sauce the recipe calls for. Well, maybe I will add more just to make sure. Yeah. That'll be extra juicy. Maybe a little bit more. No, uh, maybe a little more for Dave. No, I'm not actually eating this. <laughs> and then... I'm not even eating it if someone super chats, unless it's and like then, a red super And then, of course, chat. we're supposed to sprinkle with the rest of the cheese. Now, I'm probably using... I'm not measuring this precisely, and I often don't when I cook these things, even though the recipe has the specific measurements. So I'm just sprinkling on a lot of cheese because the world needs more cheese, people. <laughs> All right. Okay, so I'm gonna just push that down that just a statement. little. All right, now we need to cover it. Wait, I didn't miss anything else, did I, Dave? Let me just check. Do, 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 do. Yes, I need to cover it with foil and we're gonna bake it for 30 minutes. And I'm gonna set the timer and then we will take it out and uncover it just to get the um, cheese browned a little bit. Oh, this one's kinda of weird. Now, since I've got it kind of over the top, I'm going to be a little bit delicate with the foil so that hopefully all the cheese doesn't stick to it. Is it fine? Is this fine? Uh, sure. So Dave is sharing the picture. No, not oh, yet. Oh, not yet. Sorry. All right. I'm going to put this in the oven. Don't lie. Now you can go ahead and... Uh, oh, can you go ahead and reset the camera too? And then we're going to put this in the oven and then we're going to talk to you guys for a little while. Tell you what's going on. Oh, wrong way. <laughs> All right, so, oops. I did not change the oven racks. I've got one that's too high. All right. Let's no, that see. one's not on. No, it's not one. Way. There we go. And usually, you want to put things on the center oven rack unless it tells you otherwise. So I'm going to set the timer for 30 minutes here. And at that point, we'll need to take it out and uncover it for a little while. So I'm going to set these aside. All right, Dave, let's take a look at, see what people are saying. Hi. Yeah, sorry we haven't answered you back, but I was trying to make sure we actually knew. So normally, 
I try to prepare a little more ahead of time. I'm a little more like Jill that way. Andrea, you are killing me. But we were at the doctor. Oh. I'm cooking bacon ranch chicken tenders because bacon, bacon. <laughs> nice, Andrea. So, how <laughs> is it, everyone? Okay. Yeah. Tara. Yeah. Tara, okay, so Tara's in, De well, in a, in a suburb of Detroit, uh, visiting Penny. Um, one of the Penny Griffiths is often on the Facebook side, mostly. Um, she came to visit us last spring, and then she went home and she called Tara and said, Hey, I bought you a ticket. Or, well, I, I wanted to know if you would mind if I buy you a ticket to come out and visit me. <laughs> so... Uh, Dave's going to share a picture. Yeah, and you'll see a little bit of our kitchen in the background because we okay. didn't have time to format the picture, but go ahead and put okay. it in. Is you ready? Yeah. Okay, so this is us at the airport. Everyone's excited. We're like, woo, mom's leaving. Yeah, <laughs> except for Ellie. So yeah, this is, oh, this wasn't the best of the airport pictures, but it was okay. Yeah, this is us at Denver International Airport last night when we were taking Tara to the airport. Of course, it it's, it's cheap entertainment for the kids, especially Jack and Dave, because Jack just loves going up and down the elevators and the escalators. And, you know, he did a pretty good job not getting in the way of all the bustling people. But yeah, this was the better picture of us all. And it, we had a really good time taking Mom to the airport. But it was a late flight, so... And she got in, and today, she's been visiting Penny. So, Mom... Yeah, go ahead and bring it in, and, and we'll say which is it. So on the right side of the picture there is Penny, um, which a lot of you probably recognize from the Facebook chat. It's Penny Griffiths. And then that's Barb Blankenship back there, and uh, she also was there visiting oh, with them. Oh, that's Barb. Okay. So, so, those are, uh, so that's Tara with, go ahead and leave it on for a little longer, with uh, two of the regular viewers who comment a lot in Facebook. Um, it's a pretty quick trip, so she's not going to be there for a really long time. Wow, she's glowy. But, and, and this was a trip that she actually scheduled before, um, before that she and Ellie went on that other trip. So you can go ahead and switch it back now. So they're having a good time. And actually I'm surprised that Tara looks so awake because her flight was supposed to get into Detroit last night, like at... Two. Three. I think it was supposed to be one, but it ended oh. up being, well, like well three, let's see, it was like, time. it was 11 something here, so yeah, I think it would have been one something. Oh wait, no. no. So, yeah. uh, we live in, in Colorado, in northern Colorado, near Longmont, uh, in Mead, Mead, Colorado. It's, it's about at 40 minutes north of Denver. Oh, cookie rookie cheddar bacon ranch chicken tenders. <laughs> <laughs> nice, Andrea. That's awesome. Thank you, Joyce. Joyce says we're doing a great job, Dave. Are we? I'm not sure. I don't know if we're doing a very good job. Oh, Kathy says just made the lemony chicken breast. Actually, it was funny. Dave really ended up liking that, but he wasn't going to taste it until Bandana Grandma bribed him with the super chat. <laughs> oh, wait. No. I'm not going to taste this. No matter what super chat we get. Unless it's like a $100 super chat. Then I'll be like mind blown and be like, I have to try it. So Coco Noel, uh, Tara is not looking at her email and stuff at the moment very much. So it may be not, she may not get the message until she gets back. Uh, but definitely uh, she'll probably take a look at that. So um, let's see, what other, do we have any questions specifically? Jack is in the, uh, Jack is in the other room. We've been gone all day. And he had to sit in doctor's offices, and Benny so Griffiths now he's going crazy. Well, I was gonna say playing on the computer, but he actually plays this thing where the kids program games oh, and really movies and things like that. They do the computer programming for it, and then they get to see how it worked. Uh, Catherine, it's not, oh sorry, Tara should be back Monday. Um, Jerry wants to know what you're eating. Grapes. <laughs> Grapes. You are trying this. What did you say? I'm not gonna try that. No, I'm not. <laughs> Thank you, Judy. Yeah, this, it's funny, I got to thinking, here the last time I made enchiladas, and this time I made enchilada casserole, you can see where my, where my love is, so. Um, Nikki's finally on, hey girl. Oh, Paloma, I didn't think to spray the foil with a nonstick, although I did kind of leave it built up a little, so hopefully it won't. Becky's on. It won't melt. Becky? Oh, hey, Becky. Let's see, oh. She's not first. Well, VS. 
Uh, great on, thank you. I, you said I just found this channel. We're glad you're here. Well, this isn't our usual. Usually Tara's on, um, my wife, cooking, and I'm just kind of being the comic relief. <laughs> but when she's gone, I bring in Dave here, who's our, our expert tech guy and oh, happens to be our hot. son. So, is that on? I almost tipped into the Okay. So, thought... we, if you're just joining us, you can get ready to put the recipe back in. We were making an enchilada casserole today, and we mixed it up and put it in the oven. And it's got about 24 minutes before we have to take it out and and uh, take the lid off so we can cook it for a few minutes. Are there, I was gonna, there's more stuff we can say, but I just wanna see, do we have any specific questions? Oh, Kim says, I just joined late, where's Tara? Tara's uh, in, in Michigan, just outside Detroit. of Detroit. Visiting uh, a couple of you, two well, it, yeah, two viewers really, but she's primarily visiting Penny Griffiths, who's in uh, Facebook, but it ended up that Barb Blakenship was able to come too, so they're uh, visiting a little bit together today. Uh, I think Penny was really nice. Penny visited us in the spring, and we took her up to Estes Park, Colorado, where it was really pretty in the mountains, and um, she really liked it and we had a good time with her and then after she got home she called Tara and said hey I have a bunch of frequent flyer miles can I buy you a ticket to come out here in the fall and so she invited Tara to come out to see the fall colors so I don't know that they've done it yet because I know they were visiting with Barb and I think they were going to try to help someone who needs some stuff and uh, then I think they're going to go out and and see the colors and Tara's really excited she She's not seeing the colors. Mom's probably squinching in pain right now. Ah. Watching your pain? I just stubbed my toe on the stupid oh. metal thing. Sorry. <laughs> sorry. No, seriously, sorry. Uh, you know, Melody, I did not set it on a cookie sheet. Maybe I should do that. Or actually... So Tara and I have this thing about when we make um, pizzas, like the store ones particularly, I don't like to put the put them on the sheet because I like them to get crispy, but she doesn't want it to spill. So I figured out I can just put the pizza on one tray and then the baking pan on the other tray and it still gets crispy. So best of both worlds. Facebook is off? Uh, switch no, over there and it's see. it's not. Oh, okay. Yeah, so it's... Okay. Yeah, everything's looking cool there. Um, <laughs> good looking group. Thank you very much. All right. Oh, actually, the good-looking group is the ladies. <laughs> so, we took BJ in, and we did not get a result of the tests yet, but it was pretty much an all-day affair. Um, Jack was only having half day of school today, and it was conferences, and they weren't doing much, and I ended up not taking him because there would have been no way to pick him up. But BJ had to go in today to get a CT scan, and an X-ray, and an EKG, and oh. in the midst of that, uh, we were trying to figure out what, what recipe we were going to use for the enchilada casserole and stuff like that. So it was a pretty crazy day. We did not get any results back yet, but we're uh, hoping since he's got to go get blood tests tomorrow. Mm -hmm. And then we're hoping it won't be too long before we can get back into the doctor. If you're not familiar with his story, BJ, our son, our oldest son, uh, is 19. And he's been sick for a number of years for, for some mysterious thing where for a while he was in bed and just couldn't do much. And we've taken him to a lot of doctors. Um, yeah, I'll answer that in a minute. Uh, we've taken him to a lot of doctors and they just couldn't figure out anything. And eventually we took him to Mayo Clinic in June. And they kind of proceeded on a path of thinking. Uh, eventually they determined he seemed to have a sleep problem. So they sent us home with information on how to deal with that. Um, they, we could have stayed there and they could have done a lot more searching and it would have cost us a lot more money. Uh, so we came home and BJ tried that, but he's, after a number of months, he's still feeling really sick. So, uh, we've gone to see a kidney specialist and the specialist actually he thinks there's a reasonable chance he knows what it might be. So that's what we're testing for. So anyway, uh, so we've been doing that and he's, um, I think he's real excited for hopefully getting to a solution at some point, hopefully soon. So let's see, uh, who was the test? Uh, somebody, oh, Backwoods Raised. What do you use to live stream? 
We use... He broke it. Uh, the software we use is OBS, Open Broadcast Software. It's free. You can get it online. And then we use a, a MacBook Pro and a Logitech webcam. And actually, Dave, uh, there's a thing on here about our Amazon stuff in there. Um, Dave, we actually have the list of stuff that we use on a our recommended items at Amazon. So I'll just have Dave share that. And you can, if you want to know, you can go take a look there. Um, yes, Patty, I, I still am thinking about that. And I, I kind of feel like talking to a number of people about that. Patty was asking if I might be interested in doing some devotionals or some kind of um, Bible study thing. And I, I have the heart for it. I'm just not sure. <laughs> So if you guys want to contact us, um, here, let me share the email address. How rude. And because I'd kind of like to talk to people individually to find out what, what it is you would think it is, just to make sure we're on the same page. And uh, so I'm sharing that contact information now. Thank you, Coco and Noel. Yes, we're hoping for swift answers for BJ too. Oh, yes. We and one thing that. that it came out that a doctor had previously tested him uh, for a kidney issue that can cause a lot of the things that he has. And that kidney doctor did not discover anything. But it turns out that one of the tests indicated they should have checked something else and didn't. <laughs> and so that's kind of where we're headed with the, the doctor that we're going to now. And actually, after going to Mayo Clinic, I was thinking, I don't want to just go to any doctor that's going to send us a million directions and ask us what Google said. <laughs> so I looked online for ratings that where individual people had rated doctors. And this doctor had a huge number of ratings that were all five stars from uh, patients. And, and he was a specialist in the area that I just kind of felt like this is the area we need to pursue. Um, and so I think I'm really encouraged. Uh, yes, Coco Noel, Penny is in a Detroit suburb and that's where Tara is with her now. So yeah. Um, Seems like there was something else I was going to talk about. Let's see. Any questions while we're thinking? My head is cut off. There. Oh, actually, wait. I can sit because we're done with the uh, well, yeah, it's main part of the cooking. Sitting. Let's see. Any questions? Okay, particularly? bye. I'm out. Oh, hey, going baddies on it. Dave, come here. <laughs> um. Dina says, my recipe is more of a white cheese sauce with just a third of can of enchilada sauce mixed with the above other ingredients. Good for kids or those who prefer less spice. Oh, hey, that's something I forgot to mention. Um, hey, Dave, why don't you share the recipe again? And if you haven't put a Dining on a Dime link in, put that one in too. Um, I forgot to mention this recipe is easy to adapt and I almost did adapt it, uh, but things were so crazy today. I thought maybe I better stick to the program, <laughs> but you can change the sauce. You can use salsa, regular salsa instead of enchilada sauce. Um, you can change the kind of cheese you use. You can use all beans if you don't want to eat the meat, or you can change the mixture to have more or less of the beans in the meat. It's really pretty flexible. Um, and then also, I, I had the urge to put some black olives in, but we, were, we didn't have any at the house and I was running frantically through the store. Hmm? Oh yeah. Where is it? It's over there. I did get some, uh, you, you, it, it's in the drainer right mm -hmm. there. I yeah, bring it. it over here. What? No, I was asking you to send it to me. <laughs> so I was gonna have to tell you something here. Send it by um, At the end, I, a lot of times we'll put things that are pretty on the top so that it looks really nice. And I thought about getting some tomatoes, but they were like $3 a pound. <laughs> and I thought, you know, it's not, worth that just to have it look pretty. But I thought, well, we should get some greens in this. <laughs> so I got some cilantro and I got some green onions and I'll probably just cut this up and, and decorate it on the top afterwards. So uh, let's see, wondering if baking sheet would be a good idea. Yes, somebody else had mentioned the baking sheet too. And what I ended up doing was I stuck it underneath. Uh, M Brown, yes, we did consult a GI doctor and they have, have done a lot of, BJ has been through a, a lot of tests and um, the, he's had a, a, I forgot what the scope is that goes down and checks out everything. Basically he's, Wait. he's had 
so many tests that I didn't know there were any more tests you could do. So anyway, um, he does have... Did you answer Dina's? Uh, let's see. Okay, yeah, Dina, sorry. Yes. Um, he has a, kind of a general... He, he has really high blood pressure that just comes on randomly, and then it kind of goes away. And it comes on again, and it goes away. Uh, and the doctors have given him medicine for it. He doesn't have any um, risk factors, so he doesn't smoke or do... Oh, hey, going Betty just... Gave, gave us a super chat. chat. Thank you, going back. It said, "Hit that like button." I appreciate that. I agree. You should hit that like button. Yes, Coco Noel. That is nice, Delandro. Um, squirrel. <laughs> this is Mike and his everything coming moment. I'll answer it all in time. But um, the I was thinking. Well, what were you talking about, BJ? And uh, um, he's had lots and lots of tests. And oh, the symptoms. Right. He, um, he's got a general malaise, feels tired a lot, and he gets, his blood pressure is really high, and it's down sometimes. Uh, he doesn't have any risk factors, so he's not smoking or using drugs or he's not overweight. Um, oh, I was going to get that one. Uh, Dave was about to, now, he was about to super chat $500. <laughs> like, you know, that's only coming back to us. <laughs> but anyway, um. And what else does BJ have? When he has those problems, he gets confused. Um, it's mostly a lot of pain. Endoscopy. And he, he gets pale. Endoscopy. Yeah, endoscopy is, is one of the tests that he had. Um, and it seems that most of those symptoms coincide with when the blood pressure is high. And I'm not sure if I represented it exactly right, but when we looked at the specific thing the doctor th thought it... Th the Mayo Clinic called and said, hey, you know, maybe you should have him checked for this. And the doctor that I had already scheduled when I got to him, I said, hey, the Mayo Clinic said maybe we should check for this. And he said, that's exactly the first thing I was going to try because that's what it looks like it could be. So we're hoping getting some people that know what they're doing more um, it will hopefully help. But yes, I love cilantro. It makes, it makes everything taste better. <laughs> well, okay, everything sort of Mexican Tex-Mex-like. And growing up in Austin, I am all about the things that resemble Mexican or Tex-Mex food. Dave, no sleeping on the job, boy. Uh, <laughs> yes, Dina, we have tried all, all kinds of vitamins. Um, we've tested them, and he's considered to be fine, but there are certain ones that we um, supplement him with anyway. Thank you, Going Batty. <laughs> You're so encouraging. I appreciate that. Um, Let's see, Cherry, what is Super Chat? If you're on the YouTube side, uh, when you make a comment, if you want, there's a little dollar sign down there and you can like donate $2 or $5 or something and and include that with your chat. And then if you look up at the Going Batty one there, uh, it just highlights it in a color so that it sticks out. And it's you can change it from like $1, $1 you can't put a message. But two dollars or higher, it goes from two to five hundred dollars. If you're very generous, um, then you know. Yeah. Mostly, super chat I think is designed for big YouTubers who uh, it's hard to get their attention in the con in the chat, and you can do this to do that. But some people just like to put them in there just to be nice, uh, or or like if if they want Dave to try something and he's hesitant or whatever the reason is, sometimes people will put them in. So it's not required for you to chat. So. But if you choose to, that's awesome. <laughs> so, um, okay, so for those of you who are just joining us, we're making a um, an enchilada casserole today. It looks super delish. And we've already put it together and it's in the oven. And there's about 10 minutes left. And then we need to take it out and uncover it and put it in a little bit longer. So, um, Let's see. Difficulty thinking of a word when start to talk. I don't think so, Dina. I'm not sure. Some of the symptoms I, I have to be careful because uh, since Tara has a lot of symptoms, sometimes I get confused about whose symptoms they are. But he doesn't have the same symptoms as her. It's mostly pain and um, being really tired and he'll get pale when his blood pressure is really high. Debbie Tara will be back on Monday. So I'm cut you. 
Uh, oh, Patty says if you're on the iPad, the super chat is right below the comment bar. Here's somebody the other day who didn't think that they could on an iPad, so that's cool. Um, let's see. Cilantro makes all food better. <laughs> let's see. Yes. Uh, and Brown, they did do an upper endoscopy. They've done other scopes as well. Uh, and he did have a sleep test for sleep apnea and it was negative. Sleep apnea? But they did send us away from Mayo Clinic saying um, they were that he had a sleep hygiene problem, which is essentially like, it's like getting stuck in jet lag from having problems sleeping. And so they gave him some direction on what to do with that. And getting it really tired. improved him some, but didn't really solve that. Oh yeah, <laughs> thanks Julie. It's funny because as I was thinking, oh yeah, this could be the greens. <laughs> Not only do I love cilantro, but I had a, the coach from the health place the other day was hassling me because even though I was losing weight, she said, well, I don't know if I would make those choices. And I was thinking, you know, I, I'm feeling a lot better and I'm losing weight and it, it's true that I could do other things as well. But if you try to do everything at once, you're going to fail. <laughs> and uh, uh, some people were concerned about that when I said the other day. Uh, because I think when you tell people you're not eating every meal, <laughs> people have heard that this is it's really dangerous. If you're not hungry, don't eat. That's but, how you gain weight. If you just eat whenever you're like, I'm not hungry, but I want to eat. But the, th the diet just, plan that I mentioned that I've been on, which sorry, is actually helping a lot, um, it's, it's called the Every Other Day Diet. Actually, Dave, I put a link in there to where the book is. Why don't you share that for anyone who wants to see what it is. And share this line too, because we have to. Um, there was a scientist who was doing studies uh, in a lab to find out if mice ate less, if they would get less cancer. Well, they tried all different kinds of diets, and one of them was kind of... Um, oh yeah, Connie said heart palpitations. That's one of the things too, different things like that. Uh, sorry, but on this diet, um, they discovered, she discovered that when they fed them one day and fed them a lot less the next day that they could not keep them from losing weight. Yeah, just take one, take one line off. Yeah. Here, just take off the word the at the beginning. <laughs> Dave's having trouble pasting that link in. So uh, they discovered that th they could not keep the mice from losing weight. <laughs> so later on when she had her own uh, project to work on, she ended up doing a test on this. So basically you eat like every, pretty much anything you want one day and the next day is 500 calories, which is like um, lunch and a snack. And I'll typically wait and eat the lunch. I'll have coffee in the morning and then I'll eat lunch as late as I can, which is usually one or two in the afternoon. And then the snack later. What? And you know, it was hard the first couple days, it's but- me post thing. Oh, okay. Well, it's in the description. It's not letting you do it on either? No. Well, no, I did it on Facebook. Just not. If you're on YouTube and you want to see that, uh, it's not letting Dave post it in the comments, but in, on YouTube, it's in the description below. Um, anyway, so since I've been doing it, it was a little bit hard the first couple days because I don't have a lot of willpower, really. But I managed to, to do it. I think the second day I went over to like 700 calories. But um, since then, it's been a lot easier, and I'm, I feel better not eating as much. And uh, I'm kind of enjoying what I do eat, and then I've lost, I've only, I've lost seven pounds, but it's only been two weeks since I've been doing that. But I'm super stoked about this particular one because I, I'll try different things until something sticks better. And what I've done in the past, it wasn't working for me now so much. So that's why I had that. <laughs> All right. Uh, oh, I already pasted it in there. That's no, you okay. didn't. Oh, didn't I? It didn't. Register. Oh, okay. So are there any questions? I mean, we can keep... We definitely can keep talking, but I want to say... Um, have you made turkey, zucchini, meatballs with spicy mushrooms? Oh, that sounds really good. Dave, why don't you paste that into one of the text documents so I have that later. What? Uh, somebody asked if we... If it was on the Facebook and then you clicked away. Or maybe it was. Oh, no, it was. I think it was on the YouTube. Somebody asked if we had made a certain thing. Dave. This guy is crazy. Oh, that's it. Meredith down there. Copy that and paste it into another document so I can look it up later. Well, and copy Meredith's name, too, so I remember who said it. Uh, 
This guy yeah. is insane. Do you need this anymore? No, but when as soon as you, yeah, go ahead and paste that in, and then let's see. I was looking for things to answer. Keep up the good work. Thanks, Anna Maria. Uh, yeah, Tony. Tony says my problem is taking prescriptions that make me sick if I don't eat. I forgot to mention this lady. Um, I did share a link, by the way, and you can see the book, but you don't have to buy it. Uh, it's, but I just went to the library and got it. But uh, she does say if you have like diabetes or some kind of thing where um, you have to eat exactly on a certain schedule that you shouldn't do it. Or if you have a major health problem, you should ask your doctor. But I don't have a major health problem <laughs> except a psychological one. <laughs> so, uh, uh, yeah, and Maria says, I love making cabbage soup. You can eat all you want. That is good stuff. I haven't had that in a long time. Uh, the casserole, Katie Joe, the casserole is, we cook it for 30 minutes and then we covered, and then we uncover it and put it in for five to 10 more minutes. And it's got about four minutes left and then we have to uncover it. So I'll uncover it and then I'll show it to you and then I'll put it back in for just a little bit longer. Um, Morley's chocolate. Well, Jerry, I have never, I don't know if I've had Morley's chocolate, but Sounds, anything chocolate is something that appeals to me. Um, what do I eat? <laughs> so this is what she didn't like is, and this book even suggests that it's okay to do that. Um, on the diet day, I will eat a Marie Callender's uh, meal, like a microwave thing. Um, that's like 400 calories. And then I'll eat as a snack later in the day, popcorn. I think one day I had a chicken a piece of chicken because like a typical size piece of chicken is like 100 calories. Um, I've sometimes have eaten like part of a granola bar. I, if it's, I look at the calories and if it's too many, I estimate and cut off part of it. <laughs> um, although for me, because I do weigh a little more and I'm a guy, she says I could, tip, I could tend to go over, but the, it's working great for me really. And I'm, I'm a not a, I'm not a very good diet person. <laughs> So, and the cool thing for me uh, is that, or the cool thing I think is, if I get to a point where I'm struggling with it, oh, well, no, if I get to a point where I've gotten to where I want to be, and I'm struggling because I'm eating more and I'm starting to go up again, I think I could just go back and do it for a few weeks until I'm back where I want to be again. So my goal is to get down to the weight I'm supposed to be and then stay there forever. <laughs> so... I've done close to that, but usually what gets me is perpetually not eating. And on this, you can eat what you want one day, and then the next day uh, you eat a lot less. But if I think, oh man, okay, I'm a little hungry now, I might get some decaf coffee, or I'll just tell myself, you know, just a little longer, you're going to go to bed, and then in the morning you can eat whatever you want. And on those days, I'm not even eating that much, and that's part of the deal. So uh, somebody was asking me to repost the recipe. So today, if you're just joining us, we're making an easy enchilada casserole, which looks super delish. And basically, there's one that we've made, I've made before. Well, I, I don't know if I made it, but I've had it before in the family years ago. And I couldn't remember exactly what the recipe is, and I managed to find one that seems to be the right one. So I just pasted it in. Um, in the comments, and if you're on YouTube, it's also in the description below. Ooh, pepper jack, yum. Yeah, that's one thing, the cheese, I think it calls for cheddar, but what I made, I have here is a four cheese, jack, cheddar, quesadilla, and asadero. I'm all about the cheese. <laughs> Although, I don't eat too much of the cheese these days. Uh, Dina, does he have IBS? I do not recall. So, this is about BJ. Uh, wow, Nancy says, all eight of my kids can cook and bake from scratch. That is an amazing skill that you've taught them. I, I do pretty well. Like for these, honestly, I could have just thrown this casserole together. And I normally do that with kind of Mexican, Tex-Mex kind of things. But we always have people that want the recipe. And if you just say, just throw some of this in there. It's overwhelming to some people. So I always get a recipe, 
even Whoa. though I don't. And I'm pretty good at also at grabbing a bunch of leftovers and putting them together in a way that is that tastes really good. Okay, so we've hit the 20 minute mark. So I'm gonna take the, or 30 minute mark, and I'm gonna take the foil off. Ooh, man, it's, uh, it's looking amazing already. I'm still not gonna try it. Here, Dave. No, Pam. Uh, turn the camera, tilt the camera down just a little. It has little. beans. Go to OBS so I can see it, and I'll tell you how far to go down. So I'm gonna show it to you real quick before we put it in. So that's what it looks like so far. Um, but now it's time to uncover it and put it in for probably five to ten more minutes until it browns. Although it's looking so amazing already, I, I don't know that it'll need too long. So I'm going to just set it in, set five to ten minutes, so I'm going to go for five and we'll see what happens. Watch the edge of the oven there, Dave. Dun, dun. You're going to give me some crippling depression. Dun, dun, dun. All right. Okay. Ow, that hurt. That yum, is yum, yummy. yum, yummy. Num, num. Ow. Oh, sorry. Don't do that. <laughs> Tony says Dave is hyper every day. Yeah, yeah you should have seen Jack the last couple days. I forgot what it was. Last night on the way back from the airport. Keep in mind, it's like an hour and... Hey, Jack, come here. Last night on the way back from the airport, I think it's an hour and... It's about an hour drive. And everybody was tired. And what was that you were singing last night? What? The song you were singing in the car on the way back from the airport. I can't remember. It was. It was alone by Marshmallow. No. He was oh, singing the song. It was. it was about flying or helicopter or something oh. over and over again. The song. Oh, um, it was like stairway to the escalator of two. <laughs> He just kept singing, stairway to the escalator of doom. I'm not sure why. Stairway to the escalator of doom. I'm not sure why. And he why. was getting louder and louder. And Ellie and I were in the front seat and we were both thinking, I'm tired, this is a little noisy. But I, I thought, well, he was I have no idea why I was singing. <laughs> <laughs> but I'd say for out of the hour drive, about half of it, was that that line over and over again? Oh, Jack, your fan club is on. Oh, mom says she loves you. I love you too, mom. He, he loves says you too, she mom. Loves you too. Uh, yes, Laurel. BJ, uh, he hasn't been feeling as as well as he'd wanted to, uh, and he still has some symptoms that were high. And so today we took him. In, we've taken him to a new doctor recently, and today we had to go in for a lot of kind of pricey tests. Um, but hopefully their test that should reveal. Oh, no, I did not set the timer for five minutes. Let's see. It's been like three? No, it hasn't been that long. Well, no, it has been three. I, well, I'm pretty sure. Well, see, there's Mike just saying no without really thinking about it. Do I get an amen, Tara Jean? <laughs> Let's see if she's still watching. Um, hopefully, sorry, I know we're kind of, I'm kind of going all over the place, but it's just been a hectic day. Uh, for the people that are asking about BJ, we had a sense that maybe we should take him to a kidney specialist because the high blood pressure often is related to a kidney thing. And so the kidney doctor has an idea what, it's, what it could be based on a previous test. So he had to have a CT scan and an x-ray and an EKG to kind of rule, to rule that out or verify it. Um, and also it it could potentially show a lot of other things. Uh, well, Cherry, it's not a new thing, so it's we're it, we're a little we're a little hesitant about you know all the stuff that still has to happen. But he's been sick for a number of years, um, and last year and the early part of this year, he wasn't really able to get out of bed very much, and he was sleeping all the time. And eventually yeah, that's we, why you we, had we had, yeah, I'm sure that's part of his grades problem. Uh, when he was in high school, he was struggling right at the end. And uh, we ended up going to a lot of doctors and eventually to the Mayo Clinic because we didn't think we were getting the right answers from the other doctors. And now we've been doing what they say and we're uh, uh, doing some, we've gone back to another doctor who is supposed to be really good here in Colorado. We could go back to Mayo, but if we could get the same, if we could get it done here, it might be a little bit less expensive than traveling and having to stay out there. So, 
Um, let's see. Wow. Uh, sorry I'm late, but I had to come see Mike cook Mexican. You know, I hope this is Mexican enough, <laughs> but I would love to try any kind of Mexican thing because I just love Mexican food. I think Tara said I could eat it all the time. Water tastes and delicious. it's the number one thing I make for myself. Oh, the other thing is, I mentioned the Marie calendars. So um, somebody asked, what do I eat on that diet? On the diet day, they, she has a list of menus you can make, but she pretty much said, in order to simplify the plan, she says you can eat anything, really, that, um, and especially on your free day. Um, so the book has like pictures of hamburgers and stuff on it. And I don't usually eat that. But I do have a certain thing that I know works well for me at Taco Bell, since a lot of you know I love Taco Bell. So I'll have a, either a Marie Calendars or I'll get my 400 calories worth at Taco Bell. And I didn't realize virtually everything at Taco Bell has six to 800 calories, maybe more. But uh, the tacos and the soft tacos are a lot less. So if you're concerned, you can always look at that when you're at a place like that and find something. So that's been five. What's it looking like? Ooh. Uh, it's boiling. You think that's done enough? Oh, uh, yeah. No, I mean, do you think that's... Hmm. No, I seriously think I think that's... I'm going to leave it a couple more minutes. It's... And you're defiling the rest. Oh, we have to get off soon. What time is it? If we're going batty, we have to get off. Oh, what time? It's 5.23. Oh, man, going batty. I didn't realize it was that time already. Um, I don't have... <laughs> Oh, wow, the computer's not plugged in. Why don't you get the plug? Um, going Batty is on next, and they have a nice family show after us. So I'm going to go ahead and share that while we're browning that cheese a little more. Oops. YouTube wants to show me notifications. No. <laughs> um, all right. I'm going to go ahead and get Going Batty's link here so we can share that uh, so you know afterwards where to find them. I see. And yeah, Going Batty is another channel that does a show right after us, and they're super nice people. And um, we, they try are amazing. To, we try to wrap it uh, on time on Wednesdays so that, they, so that if you want to go see that, you can. So um, here. Um, okay. Wow, I didn't realize I've been talking so much. <laughs> so go see if we have any other major questions. Quit and then, and then it's, I just put that in for a couple more minutes because the cheese looked really good, but it wasn't kind of brown. So if it doesn't after a couple more minutes, I'm going to say it looks awesome enough the way it is. Carnitas, oh yes. Oh, you know what I've always loved is um, different kinds of steak tacos. I forgot when we lived in Wichita, um, the, I worked for PBS at a TV station that's right in the middle of the Mexican part of town. And there was a little restaurant down the street that said 21st Street Hamburgers. Unfortunately, it's gone now. Why? But one time I thought, I'm going to check out the local businesses instead of driving out of the neighborhood and see it. So I went there Gamble. and it turns out that they had a lot of Mexican food and a little of the hamburgers. No way! But only the regulars knew. Apparently the... Taco Bell in Estes was closed for a third Starbucks. I knew it was closed, but I didn't know why. Taco but anyway, that, that little restaurant turned out to have the most amazing steak tacos. And I would go there all the time. Cool. And I, tr I got to where I was speaking to everybody in Spanish and ordering in Spanish. <laughs> and they got to know I'm that guy yeah. from down there that comes all the time. Um, but there are a lot of places here in Colorado that I, I've tried from time to time that have those, oh, just delish. Um, but there are all kinds of things like that I, I love. Yes. Yeah, I noticed the Taco Bell and Estes Park closed. Sad, sad. <laughs> so, Mike putting the sizzle in the yeah, sizzle for shizzle. <laughs> okay. Um, we got eight more seconds here, so I'm going to pull this out. It's my super run. Were there any other questions while I'm doing this? Mm. Just to make sure we don't miss anything. Locals are very upset. Ow. Ow. Who's upset? Locals. Oh, up in Estes? Yeah. I'm not surprised. Um, if that's the case. Whoa. The Dave, switch that to OBS and then I'll have Look. you tilt down while I... So, I'm like... Oh, I don't have the scissors. Um, 
go in my top right drawer in our bedroom desk and grab me grabbing the scissors real quick. So I've already rinsed these, but I'm gonna go ahead and put these, this is it right here, but it, it's looking pretty amazing. Oh, I don't know if David didn't tilt it down. Okay. Um, so this is the, the way it turned out. Let's see, where do I have those hot pads? Uh, this is the way that the enchilada casserole turned out, which I think it looks amazing just like that. But I'm gonna throw on some, I usually just grab some cilantro and pick some of it and put it on. This is what you're doing with the scissors? Yeah, oh, and here's a, a little trick that a lot of you know, but maybe not all of you. Um, I'm also gonna put on some of these little green onions, which I've also washed. But instead of using a knife, it's so much faster just to use scissors like this. And we always keep our scissors clean. We only use the clean scissors for this. But adding that little bit of green is nice, and of course the onions add an amazing, nice little taste to that as well. Okay, where are the onions? Hmm? Where are the onions? The green onions. Oh, oh. And I'm gonna throw a little more cilantro on there, and then we'll have to, we'll probably get going so that you can see go, going batty if you wish. Uh, or certainly not to step on their show. And I'm oh, gonna we have to leave in throw a little minutes. more of this on. And then, after we get off the air, I'm gonna go eat this stuff because it's my food day. <laughs> See, that's the thing I like about this is in the past when I've had to cut back on my food, I can't eat everything I like like this. But on this plan, I can. Guys, like. You should have liked. Uh, don't forget to like. Uh, yeah. Yeah, don't forget to like and share and all that. Like, follow, subscribe, share. Here, you can go ahead and tilt back up so they can see us again at the end. Uh, and Man. there's that casserole right there. Okay. Looks delish. So. Can, oh, yeah. um, oh, I didn't test it. No, don't test it. We need to take a picture. It tastes delicious. Trust us. We've had this it, before. Actually, it is really delicious. Oh, I, you know I, I don't want it broken. You know, we can hide it. We can put a piece of cilantro over the edge. Oh. Here. I just, I just have it. to taste it on the air, so. Here, let me throw a piece of well, cilantro on there. Well, I just saw the like, steam just go up your Oh nostril. man, that smells so amazing. Whoops, <laughs> there goes the cilantro. <laughs> Here, let me throw another piece on there. Sorry, you can God, never... The world needs more cilantro, people. Uh... Hmm. Mm. Oh yeah, send Mike fan mail. That's really good. Don't forget it's to It's really, Mike really good. Mail. Although somebody had said, and I, I agree, that she uses less of the sauce and it's pretty saucy in the back here. So I might not use as much sauce and I had the uh, sense that I might not, but it's still gonna be really delicious. Wow, this is good. Okay, I'm looking forward to eating this later as soon as the show's over. And I think Dave will just put a little piece of cilantro right there to cover it up while you take the picture. Why don't you go ahead and share the Going Batty link? So, mm, I and, and probably the Dining Little Dime link. I did, this is just, ugh, stupid fly. So, if Bought you're interested, you can go check out Going Batty on YouTube. Dave shared that link. Why don't you put the dining link in as well? And then see if there are any other... Mom already put it in. Any other burning questions anyone would like to know? Burning we questions! Are coming on, we will be back on Friday as usual. Not sure what we're going to make yet. We thought sometime before Tara comes back about making popcorn balls and maybe some other popcorn stuff. And then um, there's... Aw, thank you! Um, we thought about making popcorn balls and some other popcorn stuff and maybe some other sort of a main dish because even though Tar says she's going back Monday, I don't think she's going to come back and be ready to cook. So, anyway. All right, any other questions, Dave? Sure. Yes. Cat Lover says, I have a pair of scissors in my silverware drawer and use them for everything, even bacon. We do use scissors for a lot and we also use a pizza cutter for cutting uh, pancakes. Wow, that one's dirty. <laughs> For cutting pancakes and bread and stuff, because it works great for that. So, anyway. We just recently used it. Well, I think we're going to probably go here in a second. Just making sure there's nothing else here. That... Be sure to thumbs up, subscribe, like, share, whatever. Please do. And it's, yes, Terry, sour cream will be good. I might actually put some on it. And taco chips. Yes, Mary. Oh, yeah. Um, let's share that recipe again, Dave. I'll share it. I'm gonna share the recipe one more time for those of you who haven't gotten it. And if you don't find it in the comments here, it's, right now it's on the front page on our website at livingonadime.com. So 
Uh, if you don't <coughs> find it, no worries. It should be easy to find. And it it goes each day. Um, it'll go down one on the list, um, but it'll be visible on the front page for a while. So all right. Good to know. Thanks so much, everyone. Hop over good night to, to go and batty. Uh, we still want to come visit you. Hop over to go and batty, and they are going to be on in the next like. Yes, go and batty is probably like, on right now. now. They're on right now. So, so if you want to go check them out. them out, do that. And then we'll be looking yeah. forward to seeing you on Friday. Yep. And if you have any burning questions that maybe With you can't passion. ask because Tara's here, because it's her show when she's here, be prepared to have them ready and we'll be sure we try to we, be sure we get those in. We should just have one improv day where we just do questions and answers. Yeah. All right. And super chats. <laughs> well, it's awesome to see you. And we'll see you Friday, right, Dave? Yep. All right, technical Dave. Time to say goodbye. Bye, Bye. guys. See you later. See ya. Great having you.